Looking back at our state's paranormal past, the book Michigan Hunts was just released on Monday, diving into psychiatric asylums, haunted lighthouses, and ghost towns. Here to tell us about the bizarre tales of the book, Gail Offen and John Mylan. Thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. This is your third book? Yes, there's our third book together, yes. And mm -hmm. what is different about this one than the others? Well, uh, what's different about this particular haunted book is that it focuses on uh, public places. And uh, we're asking people to uh, take a look at this many uh, different uh, sites across the state and uh, we have a, a look for themselves. We call it a sneaky travel book. It gets kids interested in local history and it gives you a chance to go. It's in both peninsulas. There's lots of haunted places all throughout Michigan. And you said you encounter all kinds of ghosts, eh? All kinds. It's been so interesting. Besides your regular ghosts, we have jealous wife ghosts, light keeper ghosts. There's even a, a lion ghost in Howell and a coffee drinking ghost in um, Greenfield Village. That is my spirit right there. I know. Tell me, that looks sort of haunted there. <laughs> yes, tell me about uh, what we can find in Detroit. What are your favorites There are here? so many haunted places in Detroit. First of all, the Whitney, which a lot of people yes. know about. There's where a jealous wife ghost exists. And then there's this place called the Alhambra that's right near the Little Caesars Arena where a woman who was a cook baked up a bunch of poisonous biscuits with arsenic and fed them to the people there. People died. It was the trial of the century in 1905. You can drive by there. There's the woman there. And she was acquitted, but a week later her father-in-law died of arsenic poisoning. Oops. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay, so what about the no-miss spots? What do you want to make sure people check I'd out? I'd like to list? tell people about the two-way in, which is uh, near Mount Elliott in Nevada. Uh, it's the greatest dive bar in Detroit, the oldest dive bar. It was uh, built by a Civil War spy, and uh, he still haunts the place. Uh, it dates from 1876, and it's, uh, it's a really cool old dive bar that very few people know about. And also the Cadu Cafe, which a lot of people go feather bowling at, is haunted as well. And even the DIA has some hauntings. So if you look in here, there's places. We tell people, leave it in your glove compartment. If you're in Bay City, right. there's a great haunted theater where the former yeah, manager yeah. has an own seat dedicated just to him whenever he feels like stopping by. And there's a lot about Houdini in the book because he has so much to do with Detroit. Of course, he died here, correct? That's correct. Halloween 1926, one of his last shows was at the Majestic Theater, still going strong on Woodward. And um, he, there's a seance every year. Okay, so you can see right here, that's where we're able to get the book, correct? It's out now? It's out now. Get it online. Get it at Barnes & Noble. And we'd love you to see all the haunted spots in Michigan. It's all really right, fun. Thank Thanks you so much, much for joining us and bringing that in thank today. You. We really appreciate it.